Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, colleagues. Welcome to the Public Safety Committee and our vote today. I'm Council Member Vanessa Gibson of the 16th District. I'm proud to serve as chair of the committee on public safety, and I'd like to thank all of my colleagues for being here this morning, this afternoon. Uh, we will be voting on proposed intro 1611A, which is a bill that relates to requiring the police department to submit reports on clearance rates of index crimes, as well as proposed intro 1664A, which relates to requiring the police department to report on the number of arrests and summons that are returnable to the Transit Adjudication Bureau for subway fare evasion. I'd like to thank the sponsors of today's bills, Councilmember Rory Lansman and Councilmember Richie Torres, and certainly I'd like to thank the staff on the Public Safety Committee for all of their work, our Senior Legislative Counsel, Deepa Ambakar, our Legislative Policy Analyst, Casey Addison, and our Financial Analyst, Steve Reister. Proposed intro 1611A, which is sponsored by Councilmember Torres, relates to requiring the police department to submit reports on its clearance rates. The bill would require the NYPD to report on a quarterly basis the number of index crimes by borough where at least one person has been arrested and charged with the commission of the offense. Proposed intro 1664A, sponsored by Councilmember Lansman, relates to reporting on fair evasion arrests or also known as jumping the turnstile offenses. The NYPD can enforce this by issuing a civil summons that's returnable to the Transit Adjudication Bureau or under the state's penal law. This bill will require the NYPD to report how many tab summons are issued and how many people are arrested under the penal law. The information would then be disaggregated by Transit Bureau, Subway Station, and the demographics of the offender. In addition, the bill would require the NYPD to publish their policy with respect to determining whether an individual is issued a summons returnable to the Transit Adjudication Bureau or a criminal summons. I'd like to thank both Council Members Torres and Council Member Lansman for sponsoring today's legislation that's on our agenda, and certainly for all of my colleagues for being here today. Truly, through this legislation, we will continue our efforts to providing the NYPD with the support that's needed, but truly making sure that the available tools to us can help us improve the overall public safety and create equity in the system. I encourage all of my colleagues today to vote in favor of these two items on the agenda, intro 1611 and intro 1664. And now I'd like to recognize the members of the committee who are here, Council Member Gentili, Council Member Carnegie, Council Member Deutsch, Council Member Lansman, and Minority Leader, Council Member Matteo. Do any of my colleagues have any questions or comments on the bills before we begin our vote? Hearing none, I will now ask our committee clerk, William Martin, to please call the roll. Thank you, colleagues. Roll call vote committee on public safety. Chair Gibson. I vote aye. Gentili. I vote aye. Carnegie. Aye. Deutsch. Aye. Lansman. Aye. Matteo. Aye. We vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you, colleagues, for being here. You're now all free to go. Um, and we will keep the roll open for the next 10 minutes to allow members of the committee to uh, join us. And I certainly want to thank all of you with a few weeks remaining in this month. As we close out this year, I thank you for the opportunity to work with you as your chair of the committee. And I also want to ask you to indulge me that I may be calling upon you once again as we may have another hearing before the year is over. So I thank you again. Enjoy the afternoon and happy holidays to each and every one of you. Thank you. <laughs> Continuation roll call the Committee on Public Safety. Council Member Williams. Vote aye. Vote currently stands at seven in the affirmative. 